What's up guys, this is Swedes back with another video. In this video, I'm showing you how to get skins on your Minecraft account in beta 1.7.3 when you don't even have a skin or you don't have a skin in beta for your private server. So, or a public server, it doesn't really matter. I could do this on my server, but it require everyone to have a certain thing in their file, which I'm going, or in their computer, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um... This is basically just for Shadow of Wizardfell, my Shadow of Wizardfell remake, which I'm going to put the Wise Glitz application below. And it's just for that, so I can get everyone to have skins. Like, this guy doesn't have a skin. I just put a skin on him. Like, this account is available. Like, no one has this account. Viking Boren. Um, no one even has that account. So I'm basically using a cracked account that no one has. I put a username on it. All right made up a username and I put a skin on it. It's really cool. So basically I made my own skin URL. That's what I did. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And if you'd rather follow text, follow a text tutorial, then I'll leave this in the description. So first of all, you're going to have to download Xamp. Xamp is a software that you can basically host your own um, websites and everything. So download that. I'll leave this link in the description as well, and delete that, or exile that, and once you have XAMPP installed, um, go into your C drive, go into XAMPP, where is that, XAMPP right here, then go into Apache, and um, actually, no, go into htdocs, htdocs, htdocs right here. Then I basically copied and pasted these. So you, what you have to do is right click file new or new folder and then name them exactly this capital M capital S Minecraft skins capital M capital C Minecraft cloaks. Um, then make two folders and then you can get onto that once I show you how to do that. Um, I don't know which folder it's supposed to be in so I just copied them. In each of these, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be in here. So just put them in every one if you want it to immediately work. Um, so what you're going to have to do is copy this um, folder URL. Hit Windows R. So that's what it's called. C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, ET, ETC actually. Okay. Then once this opens, there will be a folder named Hosts in here, and then or a file. Right click it, hit actually go to Properties, and um, we'll want to disable this. Right click, hit Edit in Notepad, plus plus. Once it opens, which it open right there, you won't have this. You'll just have this and above. Um, but what you'll have to do, so if you want, if you're doing Shadow of Israfil, if you're doing, if you're whitelisted and everything, then you can um, put this IP. But if you're hosting your own website, then you can put your external IP, your home IP. So that would be, if you go to ipchicken.com, it would be that IP that pops up there. So, yeah. Um... So exactly this, no spaces, just, uh, I'll show you, um, basically that and that, but we want to have both this s3.amazon aws and skins.minecraft.net. We want to have both of those. So basically what we did there is ho we're hosting a Minecraft skin URL on our own IP. So next thing we can do is go download a skin off the internet so let's look up dwarf skin and then once we are here we can get which one looks cool let's get this one this one's pretty cool it's like a naked dwarf download once it downloads close out of it go to the folder that you had the xamp in or the minecraft skins folder then you can just drag the skin into it. So I'm just going to go downloads because I can't find the 
actual skin. Okay, here we go. And then what you're going to want to do is name the skin file to your username, your exact username. So I'm going to name it, it's case sensitive too, so I'm going to name it dwarf. Um, what should I name it? Uh, Mike. There we go. Then open up and you okay the launcher because you're going to need a cracked launcher if that's not your username. Then type in dwarf Mike. And if you're doing my Shadow of Israel roleplay and you're whitelisted, I'll give you a username and I'll do the, all of this for you. All you have to do is those two steps where you put in my IP and the skin your URL. So that's all you have to do. So basically put exactly what I have there. Dwarf Mike. It didn't work because I have to restart the server and my Minecraft launcher. So if the server's already running, make sure to restart if you want it to work. And restart. Restart. See this is XAMP control panel. I can also restart the Apache server. So that works too. Make sure it, it immediately works. Dwarf mic, enter game. Multiplayer, log in with my IP. It's not done yet. Where is it? Oh, I didn't even start the server, that's why. Craft bucket. Server run start. And then done. Log in. And we don't have a skin. I don't know why. Maybe we did it wrong. Where did we go wrong? Hmm. Okay. Let's go backwards and let's figure this out. So, oh, you know why? Because we didn't put it in the right folder. That's probably the right folder. So, obviously, that's not right. Okay. Let me just put it in there. Rename Dwarf Mike Control C and then go back to HT Docs Control V um, Go back to this one Control V um, Then Control V once again Then we can restart my server again Restart Minecraft Stop this Start this Start the server Start Minecraft and enter game. Multiplayer, connect. We have a skin, it works. So I can put skins on basically any user, well yeah, any user, and I'm gonna do that for um, the Shadow of Israel roleplay. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.